Hi, Bishop Mary. Hi, Leanne. Thanks so much for giving me a few minutes of your time. I just, um, I'm really curious to know, I understand you have a very exciting journey planned. Yes, I'm going to Masasi, Tanzania. It's our partner diocese. We've been partners for over 10 years. Wow. So when will you be going? Um, we get there. It takes several days to get there, but we will get there on Friday the 27th of July. And we will leave somewhere around Tuesday, um, I think 7th of August. Okay, nice. So you're going this summer. That's, that's really a hop, skip, and a jump away. Are mm -hmm. you excited? Yes, and a little worried. Right. Will this be your first time in Africa? Yes. <laughs> but I think it'll be fine. Um, people have gone there and come back, and um, we've had visitors from Africa. Um, bishop um, Patrick, before the current bishop, Bishop James Almasi, they've both visited Montreal, and then J Bishop James has been after me to come and visit ever since we met. So he must be relieved that you finally said yes. He's very happy. <clears throat> Wonderful. Who will, you, who will you be traveling with? Well, my husband's coming with me, and then uh, the chair of the partnerships committee, Beth Reed, is coming. Nice. And, uh, Father Victor David Mbuibipungu, who's the priest at La Nativité, is coming. He's excellent. also on the committee. Excellent, excellent. And um, what exactly is the purpose of your trip? Well, the purpose is to build the partnership and to continue to build a relationship that, you know, when you go and spend time with some friends, you get to see their reality, uh, they get to show you their interesting places, you see some of their challenges, and you get to be able to pray for them better when you get home because mm -hmm you care for each other more and nice. um, you understand the challenges they're facing. Wonderful. So I, I believe that we um, are also collecting donations for something that we are calling Bishop's Blessings Beyond. Can you explain a little bit about that? Well, you might know that um, while our diocese feels challenged by its present circumstances, uh, we live nothing compared to what they have. Uh, the church is growing and it's also very poor. In fact, some congregations have um, cashew trees that they grow as a cash crop to feed the needs of the parish. Um, the clergy are often very poor and I think the last time Barry went we sent uh, sandals, money for sandals, um, for the clergy who are often barefoot. Mm -hmm. So um, it's expected that we bring small gifts of money, um, a few hundred dollars to each place we go and we get visited around quite a lot. Um, Bill Gray went most recently and he talked about uh, the fairly challenging schedule. Bill Gray and Andy O'Donnell both went and uh, they were driven around all over the diocese. So it's important to have gifts to take. We'll probably end up attending some confirmations as well at the cathedral. I'll be there for their anniversary of dedication. And um, so we, one way or another, we need to take some money with us. Right. So we have set up um, on our website, you can make a donation um, to the Bishop's Blessings Beyond Fund. So we'd really appreciate that. If anybody feels called to make a donation, we would really appreciate it. We're also accepting prayers, I, I understand. Well, that's it. Um, it would be really nice if you'd like to write a prayer and uh, send it into the diocese. You can send it into program office and we'll make sure we have it translated into Swahili, which is the language which most of them speak and um, just to let them know that you are praying for them. I can probably only take very small light things, so if you want to think about that, if you're sending me with anything from your parish, I'd be happy to do that. Such an exciting time, and we can't wait to, um, to learn more about your trip, and um, will you, are you planning on bringing back some souvenirs? Well, I hope so. I think this, I found this in the cupboard here, and I think this is actually something that probably came back from Masasi on one of the previous trips, so I'll be having a look to see what catches my eye, and also supports their venture. I have a couple of giraffes that Bill Gray brought me the last time he, he was there. Excellent. Well, we will be praying for you on your oh, adventure. Thank you. <laughs> and uh, thanks so much for the time today. Blessings. Bye.